Welcome to Geographic Information Systems Essentials. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of address matching or geocoding. And let's just do a quick recap. So far, we've introduced the concept of address matching. We've downloaded our data and opened it up in Excel to clean it up before importing it into ArcGIS. In this video, we're going to talk about one option for address matching, which is the use of ArcGIS Online. A quick note before we begin, Esri recently changed the requirements in the way that uh, ArcGIS Online works uh, for address geocoding. Now a subscription is required to ArcGIS Online and potentially the use of what are called service credits to uh, perform this geocoding uh, using this service. So uh, you have to check with either the institution or with uh, your, the organization you work with to see if you have this additional subscription. Uh, so just keep this in mind that I will be using uh, this subscription in this video, uh, but you have to make sure that you have it uh, before beginning. Otherwise, you'll likely encounter an error when you bring in uh, your data and try to process it saying that uh, a license or a subscription is needed. So here I have my address file uh, in ArcGIS, and now let's go ahead and try geocoding it using ArcGIS Online. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the uh, file and go to geocode addresses. And it brings up my this dialog where it says uh, choose an address locator to use. I'm going to select the World Geocode Service uh, ArcGIS Online. Hit OK and it's going to ask you to sign in to ArcGIS Online and you'll need to do that if you haven't already. Uh, because I've already signed in, it's going to uh, skip that step. So let's look at our options here. Uh, under address table, uh, it's, uh, I've selected the correct table, uh, just the only one here. And then let's look at the input fields. Uh, ArcGIS has already taken a guess as to what it thinks the correct fields are, but you might want to double check before you uh, hit OK. So let's just see. Address is the address field. That seems right. There is no neighborhood listed. Uh, there is a city listed. And for the postal, it's chosen zip and state for the region. So that looks pretty good. So now let's check uh, where it's going to save the output. So here it uh, says it's going to save it as a shapefile to my desktop. Why don't we go ahead and save that as part of a uh, geodatabase. So to do that, I'm going to uh, go to my documents folder. and find my geodatabase and select file and personal geodatabase feature class and I'm going to click in my geodatabase and let's save it, you can see I've tried this before, so let's save it as uh, geocode result number four and hit save and you can double check some of the advanced geometry options and the geocoding options for example the geocoding option uh, allows you to uh, change the settings on the spelling sensitivity and the minimum and maximum candidate score. It also allows you to add additional information like XY coordinates, um, standardized addresses, uh, and things like that. So but I'm just going to, for now, leave that at the default settings and hit OK. And it'll show you this dialog box which has the um, how it's going, the uh, uh, success it has in completing the uh, geocoding. And let's just see our results. So it matched 275 addresses and it tied uh, 20 with zero unmatched. So why do you think it might have tied addresses? Well, it's likely that in a place like uh, Manhattan, the Midtown Manhattan, you'll have different addresses uh, that are different businesses that are at the same address. So you have these tall uh, commercial buildings and you might have several businesses in the same building. So uh, let's, uh, I think we're going to be satisfied with those results. I'm going to hit close and here's the results of my ArcGIS Online address geocoding. It's added them as point files uh, saved as a feature class in my geodatabase. 
So I'm going to zoom in here, and let's just check out uh, a few of these different point files. I'm going to use the Identify tool, and we'll just click on one of these businesses here. And it brings up the uh, results. Here it has my object ID. It has the score. It scored a 92.4% uh, likelihood of this being the correct address. Here's the address it used. It has some additional information. It shows the side of the streets on the left side of the street. It shows the street name and type. It shows the city. Uh, and include the XY data and some other additional information. And most importantly, it includes the original information from our attribute table the business name, the type, uh, it's a restaurant, phone number, and the original address. So this looks pretty good. I think we're pretty happy uh, with how this turned out. So in this video, we've taken our address file, which we've added into ArcGIS, and geocoded those addresses using the ArcGIS online service. And we uh, saw the results here. In another video in this series, we'll do the same thing. We'll uh, geocode those addresses, but instead use what's called an address locator uh, from a local municipal source, and we'll compare the results. Uh, that's just a quick overview of address geocoding using ArcGIS Online. Thanks for watching.